Hey guys, what's up? It's GameMaker 2.0 here. Back to bring you another tutorial, and this will be my first ever Unity tutorial. Unity 3D, that is. Uh, if I sound kind of funny, it's because I just got my wisdom teeth removed. I uh, hope you notice I got a screen recorder and a nice mic. Right now I'm using the Blue Snowball Ice version. Alright, and we're just going to go ahead and make it terrain. So you want to come up to here, and you want to go to Assets first, Import Package. And you're going to go into Terrain Assets and just import that package. And hit Import. Alright, and after it's done importing, you're going to go up into here, add a Game Object. Create other. And we're going to do terrain. Now, as you can see, over here is our terrain. Now it's kind of big. Oh, it's really big. As you can see, it is huge. Now sometimes it may look to you as though it's a little bit off on a weird angle that's just uh, unity so oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna zoom in here Now as you can see, I have this little blue indicator that shows up which brush I'm using. So if you use this brush, it will be slightly bigger. You can change the brush size so it's slightly bigger. Change its opacity so it's stronger. For right now I'm just going to do some kind of simple stuff. I want a mountain-ish look here. So I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. And turn up the opacity a bit. By the way, it's right click to rotate your camera view around if you did not already know that. And then we're just going to zoom out. So here's our little mountain area. It's nothing super fancy, but it will work. So now you're going to go ahead and you click this paintbrush tool. Now basically what this is, is this is all your different textures that you paint on there, like paths and roadways and whatever. And you hit add texture and under edit textures. Select a 2D texture. And now because you imported train assets, you should have a bunch of different grass and dirt ones. So, I'm just going to go ahead and import that. Hit add. And it adds it everywhere. Now if you didn't want to add it everywhere, you can paint over it. It's all good. Add another texture real fast. Um, this one's going to be a rock and grass texture. I'm just going to add here. And as you can see, if I select the rock and grass texture, it paints that one on the hill. Now, I kind of want to do this in like little spotches so it kind of looks more like real sort of mountain strain. Some other things you can do are you can add flowers and you can add trees. So, I'm going to again hit edit detail, add a grass texture. It's like the 2D texture by clicking right on the little dot there. Scroll down, one should be called grass. Just double click on that, hit add. Now, you may need to zoom in in order to see this. I am ready to zoom in a little bit further. And as you can see, I painted all this grass and it doesn't show up because it would take a whole bunch to render it while you're working in the station so they just kind of don't have it show up. So I painted that everywhere and now we can go into here and we hit add trees add tree and it should add in a tree for you when you oh, apparently not. Oh there it is, palm tree. You just hit add there and just kind of draw on some palm trees Alright, now, let's go ahead and test this out. So we're going to go into as uh, Assets, 
import package character controller. Let's give that a second import. Import. It's almost done. Now it should pop up down here in your project folder underneath assets character I'm just going to drag my little guy down here now some things you're going to want to double check on are that he is in fact floating above the ground because most of the time he'll be in it in this case he's in it now he's above the ground now we're going to go into assets import another package and this is going to be called skyboxes now what are skyboxes? skyboxes are basically a box that the camera creates to show up a virtual sky and it's just going to import that package real quickly here we go almost done Right, once you're done importing that package, you're going to go into first person controller, hit this little tab button that knocks it all down. Excuse me. Uh, hit first person camera. Add rendering skybox. And then you can choose the material. And you want it to be Dawn Dusk, whatever. I'm going to do moonshine. <laughs> and now when we play it. As you can see, we're in this kind of darkened environment because of the moonlight. With grass all around us. And looks actually kind of nice. And there's a little moon shining down on us. Now, unfortunately, when you draw the trees using Unity's draw drawing method, drawing mass amounts of trees, you, the colliding doesn't work. But uh, if you place the trees individually.